Ladies and gentlemen, we have discovered a brand new style of RV. And they kept saying, we've found out how well built living quarters horse trailers are compared to the other towable toy haulers, campers out there on the market. Let me introduce you guys to CJ here. How's it going? Is this a horse trailer or what would you consider this? Yeah, the manufacturer is Cimarron Trailers and they're more known for their horse trailers and livestock trailers, but we built a lot of living quarters horse trailers and, and we just thought it was a natural fit between Outlaw and Cimarron to build these toy haulers. It's a little windy out here, so we're gonna go inside and talk about this Outlaw conversion. It is a beautiful day here. Here at Transwest RV, uh, Transwest Truck Trailer and RV. You're the sales manager here? Yeah, on the, on the horse trailer side, I'm the sales manager. Uh, I've been with Transwest over seven years now. Let's cruise inside and see what's going on. I'll tell you what, why don't we, uh, I wanna go in there, but this, this uh, back of this trailer is open here. Stuff, yeah, so this is extremely intriguing uh, and it's a little bit quieter in here. This looks like a horse trailer, but on the inside here, this is, does not feel like a horse trailer. Tell us a little bit about what, what's going on. What we're seeing is we kept having customers come in into the lot and basically kind of saying, hey, I'm interested in one of your living quarters trailers, but we were finding out they weren't putting any horses in the back. So curiosity you know i mean gets all of us and we kind of said well what are you putting in here and the the big answer was you know harleys side by sides four wheelers anything like that and and we said well why are you coming to us because our trailers are set up to haul horses and they kept saying we've found out how well built living quarters horse trailers are compared to the other towable toy haulers, campers out there on the market. Uh, Outlaw horse trailers have been around for a long time, right? Yeah, so Outlaw Conversions has been around a long time. They're probably the longest standing conversion company out there on the market right now. And then Cimarron Trailers has been around now for about, almost about 20 years. But the people that started Cimarron Trailers had been in the industry for, I mean, a long, long time before they started this company. Now, to clarify for a lot of the RV people out there, I would say a good comparison would be like the Prevo chassis and then Emerald does the conversion. Absolutely. Just to let you guys know the connection with Outlaw Horse Trailers, um, if you haven't already gotten a chance, I did some videos with John Walker, the president of Emerald Coach, who's also the president of Outlaw uh, Conversions. If you haven't already seen those videos, I'll leave a link in the description below. I got a chance to uh, spend some time and interview John Walker, really a class act guy and you could watch those videos and really get a feel for the guy kind of behind this company really an incredible story he started with like it was like a three three hundred dollars in a horse trailer when he was like 19 years yeah. old or something i can't remember the exact story but really an incredible story but let's uh let's take a look a little bit more about at this coach so what's going on here yeah. so in here what we did was is we have two different sizes of this trailer um but what we did was the garage part we've kept the same size so we're standing in a 16 foot garage and then basically we wanted to kind of come up with some different amenities depending on what kind of toys you want. I mean, we put some nice heavy duty cabinetry up above, some shelving, some hooks, fold down benches in here. We put an oil can tray up here. In the horse trailer world, we understand you have to have a lot of different tack options and, and things that are gonna make your life easier when you are traveling all over the place. So same concept back here. It's just a different kind of horsepower. Now, I'm curious, I, I do notice, I have to point out, I see the uh, air conditioning back here. Yes. Uh, how many air conditionings in the coach total? So there's two air conditioners on this one. So we okay. have a 50 amp service, we have an air conditioner back here in the garage, and then we've got another one up in the living quarters. Um, but also, you know, these have heat strips on them. We duck the furnace in here so we can circulate warm air through here. Just, I cannot yeah. stop looking at that. I, yeah. I bet you the viewers are looking at yeah. that as well. This big box up here, we have an access door on the outside of this trailer that is going to be access to our Onan 7000 generator. Okay. Again, we wanted a big generator to be able to run both these ACs at the same time. I'm just seeing all this stuff, I oh, want yeah. to get a close up. There's outlets out here as well as USB ports. Yep. Looks like the uh, CO2 sensor there. 
Uh, I'm noticing more outlets over here. So they're thinking of that kind of stuff. We understand you're probably gonna be traveling with a lot of people. So more sleeping areas, more seating areas back here. These fold up against two of them the there. Hip, two of them. So again, if you're traveling with, you know, family, kids, you know, some buddies want to go with you with toys, you can make this very, just really nice to hang out somewhere and then also have the accommodations to sleep additional people. Let's take a look yeah. inside. I'm really curious because this is a, you can tell this is a really high build quality. Yeah, That's the stuff that I look for. So I'm excited to see this. So it's going to have a mid bathroom here, similar to a lot of the horse trailers and wow this is a really high-end feel in here so what's going on in here yeah so again like you said the the relationship with john walker and emerald they've had an extremely long relationship with outlaw conversions on the horse trailer side with john and what we're standing in and we tell everybody in our world of horse trailers and living quarters you want a conversion outlaws the best i mean they set the standard i mean everything is custom hardwood cabinetry you know nobody labels items and color codes items like outlaw does if you do have an issue on the road it's pretty simple to get into a service center you get on the phone with outlaw or the service center can and they say hey you're looking for this go right to here i mean it just it saves a lot of time and and energy and expense if you are having to have something something done but you know in going down the road we always tell everybody we feel like you're going down earthquake conditions as it, as it is so over time your cabinetry will tell the story on how well it's built. Yes, sir. Yeah. And and that's that's what Outlaw does. I mean, every one of these cabinets is built specifically for this trailer. They'll build the cabinet. They'll pull the trailer up. They bring them in for a dry run. If it doesn't fit, it goes back out and has adjustments made. Then they go back in and, and you know, make those, do their fit. Then if everything's good, they go ahead and do their stain. They're not covering up with, you know, wide pieces of trim where there's gap between the, the ceiling and the cabinetry insulation is second to none floor sidewalls and ceiling as well oh i'm gonna point back in the bathroom here everything you can just tell is super high quality uh do you have ca cabinet oh wow a ton of wardrobe back here yeah. in in your bathroom which is kind of nice you just jump right out of the shower get changed a good spot for the wardrobe there uh Real high quality, like you were mentioning, you can just really tell the quality of all the materials, the fit fit and finish. And let me see how big this shower is. Our shower, I would say, you know, I'm I'm 6'2", and the shower I'd probably go up another six inches, but with that skylight, for a tall person, you got no problem taking a shower here. Again, it's high quality stuff. The other cool thing is, is if one of these we have sitting here doesn't fit the bill for you, like you need a, you need it again that's a 16 foot garage back there if you need 16 foot and three inches we can build you a simmer on that way that's the nice thing we can do three inch increments so this is a 16 foot living quarters because in the horse trailer world everything is done on floor length so in the camper world rv world everything's nose to tail so we call this a 32 foot that's on the floor length and then we have a nine foot nose so truly 41 nose to tail but we can completely custom build one of these for you you if you do something like that we'll meet you at outlaw you can pick colors designs everything you want so you can completely build a custom toy hauler this is a different uh kind of a different floor plan than most people would expect in your typical rv your sleeping area is going to be just a, a couple steps up here and then kind of a cozy sleeping area with a uh good size samsung tv right there i like that they're using even high quality electronics you got some storage above your bed another samsung tv right here and you've got storage above your tv as well lots of storage here a couple bar stools there just to give you a second little eating area what else is going on uh in this coach so you mentioned the high quality electronics the other thing that we've gone in and done is is smart tvs and this is a wi-fi capable trailer so all you have to do is get a sim card set it up with you know your account and put it in here and you can have Wi-Fi. Again, like I mentioned, we've got that big generator, but we've also got a Xantrax 3000 inverter in here. And the other thing is we've equipped us with lithium batteries. It's kind of new to the horse trailer world. We haven't really incorporated a whole lot of them, but those lithium batteries are lifetime warranty. You know, they get to a certain point and they have a kill switch, an automatic kill switch, so it doesn't completely drain those batteries. And again, lifetime warranty. I mean, you're not replacing 
lead acid batteries. I'm sure a lot of you know everything's going lithium. Yeah. I mean, it's not, it's full steam ahead every day. Lithium's Absolutely. gaining more and more. I know a lot of people were skeptical about it, but I mean, it's, it's, I think it's crossed that turning point where everything's going to be going lithium here in the near future. This is a lot of quality and I'm seeing a lot of money. I'm hearing dollar signs yeah, or everything yeah. you're telling me. What kind of money are folks looking at? What's a, what's a sticker price on something You know, like this, this guy here is going to be in the 120s. Okay. Um, you know, but again, we feel like the quality's here. This is a trailer that's going to last you a long time. It's going to hold up. Uh, it's going to have a really good resale value. I mean, we're talking an all aluminum constructed trailer here. And again, we're used to putting 12, 1500 pound horses, you know, big cattle and these type of things. So these companies are used to building trailers that are going to be good and stout and hold up over time. A good way to measure that is anyone can go to anywhere and go take a look at 10 to 15 year old toy haulers that are traditional RVs and then go look at just go back another 10 years, go 20, 25 year old horse trailers, even living quarter horse trailers and look at, at the build quality of those and how they hold up. It, there's a reason that they're $120,000 a lot. Now, construction of the horse trailer, what makes this trailer have such a solid construction where it holds together so well? Yeah, if, if you look at the horse trailer industry again, and we look at the flooring, I mean, we kind of start from the floor up on trailers. And if you look at a Cimarron, it is a 12 inch deck board that is double tongue and groove. It locks in the place. It's like Legos. It all goes together. But we have what these things called centers. And those are those I beams that run underneath this trailer the full length. And on a horse trailer, you want those centers closer together. Again, we're talking a 12, 1500 pound horse that's standing on that floor. So we get our centers closer together. They're the industry's best. They're four inches apart. If you know the hoof size of a horse or a you know mature cow or bull or anything like that, they're standing on a support beam wherever they are on this floor. It kind of starts there, and then as we go up, they have the strongest upright posts in the industry. The roof bows that they use are kind of the same amount of aluminum in that square tube that everybody else uses in a C channel or a hat channel or a rectangular upright tube. Are the upright, so are the upright posts aluminum? Or? They are aluminum. Okay. Yep. And, and basically the way, I, the, the way I describe it is, is on those rectangular tubes, if you have a 20 foot stick, and you wobble it, it wobbles like a noodle all the way down. And if you take a Cimarron upright post and do the same thing, it's like a pencil, it's one fluid motion. Yeah. So we have the strongest floor, we have the strongest upright post, and then they have, they every one of them comes with an insulated roof that's a honeycomb design, half inch thick reinforced. It's an R3 thermal level. It keeps the trailer cooler based on that. And up here, I mean, with, we've got some trailers that'll take some substantial hail and it won't dent them. Wow. Where you're all aluminum trailers, you know, roofs. Oh yeah. Oh, I mean, they're just they're toast. Yeah, they look like a golf ball oh, after yeah, a hailstorm. So, yeah, well, that makes sense. I will say, probably one of the trade-offs is you are sacrificing a little bit of space. A lot of the right. traditional RVs, but you know, like I, we're, we've been standing here talking. I mean, shoot, I can I can sit down right here. I think we got plenty of room. I could be sitting over here on this bar stool and talking to someone sitting over there and someone could stand i mean you, you definitely still have a lot of room and then when you go you know go to sleep at night you just kind of cruise up in there and you got your spot so i also noticed on this door here that's between the toy hauler side and the bathroom here look at how high-end this is it's kind of like something you would see in a high-end bus and then look at how industrial all of this hardware is. When you even swing this door, you can just feel quality. Conveniently set up to fuel up all your toys here. Nice industrial style uh, gas handle there. This is the Outlaw Freedom by Cimarron Trailers. Is that how you would call it? Or yeah, Cim this uh, Cimarron Trailers Freedom model with an Outlaw conversion in it. Nice. 50, 50 gallon fuel capacity so you can fuel your toys and also it fuels your generator so and also you got to think about where it's located everything's on driver's side so we can fuel up the truck pull up to the pump and fuel up the fuel station as well so is it a diesel generator or a gas generator gas generator and how uh how many uh fresh water gallons and how many uh gray and black tanks so on this one here we've got 60 gallons of fresh water capacity 
And then on our holding tanks, we've gone a little bit bigger. They're around 42 gallons of fresh or uh, holding tank capacity. How big is the generator? So this is an Onan 7,000 gas 7, generator. 7,000, nice. Because again, with the dual ACs and with it being 50 amp service, I mean, we want you to be able to fire up both ACs and use them at the same time. Yeah. So you gotta have the power for it. A single slide out? Yep, single slide. It is a Lithco electric slide. You know, the, we used to do a lot of the hydraulic slides, which we still do incorporate here and there on some living quarters, but these electric slides have come a long ways. Yes, definitely, yeah. And I do like that it's got frameless windows that gives it a real high-end look. And I like the simple black with the aluminum siding. Is that aluminum siding or stainless? Yeah, yeah it's an aluminum extrusion on the side. We just think that it gives a nice finished look to the trailer. And it kind of breaks it up. Instead of just one big, you know, panel of black sheeting all the way down, it just gives it a nice clean look. And also that's gonna give strength to this trailer as well. Yeah, yeah. And there's nothing better than the front end of these clean chrome Cimarron trailers. It's just so beautiful. Clean the front end of these. I use a, a honeycomb bug mitt that's really gentle and really delicate. You can use those on your car, anything. I'll make sure to leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. If you do buy those, I do get a little piece of that, so I do appreciate that. We'll take a look here from this end. Nice. Nice, clean, simple look. Those look like some beefy tires. What kind of tires are on there? So what you got here is we went with 17 and a half inch aluminum wheels and then 16 ply tires those are also nitrogen filled tires they use nitrogen fill on airline basically tires i mean think about going from basically ground level to however many feet up in the air think about the temperature change they use those on airplanes so we don't have that big fluctuation in psi levels and that's what you have with nitrogen filled tires uh, point out to the lighting to more lighting over here and then an awning that comes out as well and it's a little windy out today so we probably shouldn't be uh it's super windy probably shouldn't be putting that out right now there's some courtesy lights under them oh yeah and it is armless which is cool too because it'll it'll extend out and you don't have those arms that you're ducking underneath as well nice you know, I think I think the only downfall to this coach I would see would be your headroom in your sleeping area. Yeah. Uh, but really, it's still it's still a good size headroom where it's not. And a lot of the fifth wheel, uh, a lot of the fifth wheel toy haulers, the living in the front of the coach is underneath that fifth wheel hitch or above that fifth wheel hitch. So this is kind of comparable i mean i i would say it is not that much of a trade-off really i'm trying to think of what other downsides i try to be as transparent with my Absolutely. viewers as possible the amount of quality that you're gaining I, for me if i was going to buy a toy hauler there was there'd be no question about it just because i know in 10 or 20 years this is going to hold together where go go look through any rv storage a lot of 10 or 20 year old fifth wheels that are gel coat fiberglass yeah and, it's a pretty thing now is there any other i mean i know you probably don't want to give me downsides is there any other downsides to this or any other advantages that the rvs might have you know i, I think you hit on it i mean you are you aren't going to have the ability to walk in to that you know sleeping area up up top there like you would on a traditional fifth wheel where you actually can you know walk up there and stand in that that living space we can do some other things if we were to build we build wedges before where we taper the nose up to give you a little bit more room up in the nose um you know you also have to think about your your towing this so we know that we'll get better mileage on this than we will on a traditional fifth wheel because of the height i mean you're just you are catching more wind with those trailers um, this trailer is going to tow extremely well. We felt like we've really put together a good package. We always use the example of, you know, quality. Okay, tools, whether it's your toys, whatever it is. I mean, we can all go buy, out and buy some cheap tools to do a job. And if you're doing that job once a year, it's probably fine to spend that money and, and save some. But if this is a toy or a tool that you're going to be turning frequently, well, you're better to buy that quality because you're not going to have to replace it. And what is that replacement cost costing you each time? And then what you do is you get you get two companies that really stand behind their product. Cimarron is an eight year structure warranty, three year nose to tail. They have a one year, no questions asked warranty on their tires. Um, two years of roadside assistance with that. Lifetime warranty on the structure of the wheels. 
themselves. And then when you get into the outlaw side of it, you know, the living quarter space, you have outlaws three year warranty, which is fantastic. I mean, in our, in our industry of the horse trailer world, I mean, that refrigerator has a one year manufacturer warranty on it and outlaw puts it in, they cover it for three. Wow. No questions asked. I mean, wow. That's, that's what they do. So they, so they stand behind the product. I believe that just, uh, the, the brief time that I've gotten to know John Walker, I would believe that they, you know, just yeah. a really good, good guy. And, and, and everyone that I've met in the, on the team is just really, you know, you know, straight shooters, just yeah. really good people. I don't know if you've, probably, if you've seen my channel before, but my channel is all about high build quality stuff. And this is right in line with everything else yeah. that, and I usually only do motorized class A, the buses, that kind of stuff. So this is a little bit out of my wheelhouse, but I wanted to take some time to show you guys this today, because this is a pretty cool story. I'd like you guys to drop a comment below. I'm curious what you guys think of this outlaw conversions, uh, horse, uh, uh, living quarters toy hauler, I guess you would call yeah. it. If someone's a serious buyer and they want to get a hold of you, uh, who should they get a hold of? Just call in and ask for anybody in horse trailer sales. Anybody on the team can help you out. Our number is 303-684-3400. TransWest is doing a ton of live stuff, so I will leave a link to their channel in the description below. They've actually been doing daily live streams showing all their different inventory. So a lot of really cool stuff. Definitely worth subscribing to their channel. I know I subscribe. I check their stuff out. I keep an eye on you guys because you guys got all the newest stuff. That's why I wanted to, I'm like, I got to... I gotta show my viewers what you guys are doing over here. Over our side of the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Usually I'm over hanging out uh -huh. with Brad up there. So, but I can't thank you enough, to CJ, yeah. for taking the time Absolutely. to show me and the folks on YouTube this beautiful trailer. I don't even. I, I want to call it a horse trailer, but I, uh, this toy hauler, I would yeah. call it. And uh, greatly appreciate all of you out there liking these videos and subscribing to the channel. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>